Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Shard Iron, episode 5 of my evil playthrough of um, Eid or Genesis New Horizons community, community mod, and it's the latest one. And I feel like a right jackass. I just watched Australia flog um, Canada 4 0, nearly 5 0 um, in the Women's World Cup, and I was a traitor. I tipped Canada, so I lost. But I still won because Australia won. Um, anyway, there we go. There's my problem to begin the episode. Let's get back to it. So, I'm going to check out these barbarians, I'm assuming. I should be able to defeat them, but they, they're, they're, they're going to be pretty strong, like, don't get me wrong. Um, they're probably going to have a couple of berserkers. They might be a bit too strong for me and I might I might retreat from them, but I'm, I'm going to check them out anyway because I want to um, keep this um, warlord here. So it, does, it, it doesn't look like he wants to fight me. And I'm also going to try and get the cartographer bonus, which means that I want to move up here. Um, and this is another barbarian tribe. So um, I have just given this person a whole bunch of triple blades to um, fight these spellcasters. So we'll do that first. And we'll move there. Well, what else is going on? Um, these people don't seem to like me. They're hateful. Let's see if I can... Should I build a pub there? I mean... I could build a mill. <laughs> I mean... Mills are just so economically... So, so, yeah, like, economically better than, than, than a pub. Um... I could build a shadow guild. Opponents income minus 15. Lowers the population move to capital. Allows hiring a secret age agents guard. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Let's build a shadow guild. Secret agents. Spies and assassins in, in your service can make decent province defenders. Moreover, they never cease to gather intelligence on their neighbours nor reports on those potential troublemakers. The only drawback is that life is such, in such a province becomes rather dangerous. So, people don't like it. Provides detailed information of neighbouring enemy provinces. Unrest growth rate reduced by two. I was hoping that that would be able to see um, one one further. See, you can see that I clearly don't. I never really play evil because I have no idea like what um, what these secret agents are. But I'd say these secret agents are much stronger um, than my uh, Walking Dead. They'll be like sort of like an the next tier up, let's say. Um, <clears throat> so I could even start replacing the secret, um, replacing places with secret agents, and I wish I don't know whether they've got a gem income, but I'm assuming it would be. I'm assuming they don't. I'm assuming it would just be gold, and that will give me my gem income back. Also, if there's some brigands, um, which there's not, um, I still would like to complete this. Simple brigand quest. Uh, but we'll, we'll go there first, and we will attack. Uh, we'll enter the monolith, and I think that's about it. Let's do it. Okay, so this seems pretty simple. Um, I was thinking that maybe it would be a lot more dangerous. Now, as far as I know, you cannot negotiate with barbarians, but I can hire my own barbarian tribes and stuff. Maybe, maybe they'll negotiate with me. So let's just have a look. Negotiate. You came to clan. Now you mine for clan. What? <laughs> now you mine for clan. Now you're dead, savage. So it looks like, so it looks like I can, um, if I had a higher diplomacy. So you, you'd want to be like an archer or something. You're dead, savage. All right. I'll, I'm. As much as I said, you know, this is, could have been a lot um, harder. It's still um, probably going to require me to to think a bit, <sighs> um, just so that I don't do anything dumb. It's really just berserker, I guess, is, is 
the dangerous thing that I'm worried about. Now, if I get this person... I don't want to do that. I mean, I can only move four. So I've got an attack at nine. I can attack at seven. I've only got two ammo. I guess I'll get them onto um, up here so that they've got some ranged attack um, and I can guard them pretty easily um, like that. Um, they can only move two, so I guess I will move my swordsman down because they'll be a good defender. So will this person, and I'll slowly move some of these people out. And I will, well, I'll, really, I'll just leave things like that for, for now. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna. Oh. Okay. All right. So this berserk is what I'm really worried about, and so I'm gonna web him <laughs> and charge him with my cavalry. <laughs> You see how like little damage I did? That was like with a full like the charge bonuses and and everything. We heal this guy up, and I think he does extra damage to evil guys, which will be a little bit of extra damage to these as they're unscru unscrupulous. So we'll force marching forwards. We'll whack the fuck out of this cunt um, with that. Probably kill them. And I want to take out. Ooh, okay, so. <clears throat> I see my mistake. Unless I can kill this person. Oh, no. So, yeah. If, if, I, if I'd taken out um, this person, which I don't like, um, with my Valkyrie, it would le have left my shame in totally exposed, which is what I nearly did. But. But I've worked out that I can just go like this <laughs> and keep keep them um, relatively safe. I mean, he could still move here and throw an axe, but what, what's an axe going to do? About four damage to me, so not not going to die. Um, so yeah, we'll just run forwards and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> All right. I think what we want to do really is kill this berserker. And there we go, that was a fairly easy battle. And we'll get precise strikes. Alright, a scholar, gargoyle, and a mage. So, this shouldn't be too difficult, the mage, potentially, because the mage has like a fireball um, attack. Um, and I don't have any initiative. I don't, any initiative. So, so they'll, they'll probably get that fireball attack off first, which could actually do quite, like, quite a bit of damage. Um, other than that, a scholar, you know, then I'll like probably web the mage, and then they'll the scholar and, and the gargoyle. It's like shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard, but yeah, standing like this, all in all in one clump, um, doesn't sound smart. What, what would be smarter is you know spreading spreading us out so they can only hit you know two of us. Um, Scholars Scott, are no slouches either, and these dudes are freaking annoying um, when you have to try and kill them um, with physical damage, but there we go, we'll do that. Alright, so. We are going to web this guy, and we'll have a look at how long that will last. Not that long, really. Um, I've also got to worry about this dude flying up, actually, and attacking... Um, my mage, 
which I had not considered. So that's quite bad. I can only move three, so they, can, they can't get to my mage at least. Um, but I think I, I think I should kind of um, be thinking more defensively about this. Um, yeah, not in the best of positions here, because these dudes can do ample damage as well, as you can see. This guy's only going to be what webbed for one more turn, which really isn't very good. But let's have a look. Let's oh. take out that guy. Uh, I can backstab him, and I can attack him. It's a counter attack five. So if I attack, this can kill him. If I move here, he could kill him. But he'll probably move up here and attack. What I'm a bit worried about is then if they move and attack, but I should have pretty good resistance. So I'm, I'm maybe maybe I'm not too worried about that. So I'm assuming they're going to fly up here and hit me because that's just how the AI likes to work. Um, but we'll see. We will end turn. No, the AI was a bit smarter. And <clears throat> I'm losing my dudes. Now, um, which is alright. They, they have like a damaged weapon, so, you know, he's having like his um stuff really reduced. Okay, I'm gonna web this guy again. Let's take. Ooh. What's his, he's only got one ammo left. Um, what's his ammo? Shitload. Um, try and keep, try and keep him alive. Oof. Okay, that was an odd spell choice. Um, oh yeah. Maybe I should have used I should have used the stone skin, not the not the, the stone crust or whatever, the one that would have immobilized them for five turns. That's what I should have done instead of webs. Oh, well, I lost the two people I don't really care about at all. Um, and getting extra resistance is always good. All right, so. <clears throat> Some harpies are trying to threaten me, but I have a horde of barbarians that are guarding my place, so I will let them attack if they dare. And we defeated the harpies. Woohoo! <laughs> Nasty lazy bones having a festive banquet um, because we defeated the harpies. Alright, an adventurer named, named Todd. The far sort has found ancient ruins in the province of. Dread planes. He's asking to help him with gear. Yeah, this this seems to pay off nowhere near as much in this patch as it did from the last in like the last patch. But I will help him as long as he pays. And so very well then we did deceive me. I mean to be honest, I'm looking at this going cuirass piece of shit, jacket arrows piece of shit, 112 doesn't really even cover like what I fucking paid so there should be another one going you fucking liar chuck him in the dungeon or something but I uh, will just I guess say very well then I guess I've, I don't know there's nothing much else I can say all right so yeah the secret agents cost a lot more uh, but they don't have any gem, gem upkeep so I'm gonna get some secret agents guarding this place um, we'll also get a mill Now, I really, I do want to get this cartographer bonus. Am I, am I even going to be able to? That is the question. That is the question. We'll, we'll move there. I guess that's the, that's the, um, 
the aim the aim of this episode is to get the cartographer bonus and defeat Oinor. Okay, we've got some robbers here. So we'll go there for the um for the bandits. And we will build practice halls. Let's do that. Because we're gonna hire some more people um to fill out um Chana. Um Chana's uh, uh, in, uh not inventory army N ten. Alright, so we got some more poisonous we got some poisonous spiders. Um, we'll breed the spiders and sell their yarn. Provinces income has increased by six. Um, but I think people don't like it because a whole bunch of people died because they're poisonous spiders. Well, gold is good, and now these people are hateful towards me. Hateful. Just so hateful. I'll build a pub, see if I can change their hatred. Now that now, now they're now they're only furious. Um, which is a help, I guess. Um, I keep moving up towards those robbers. And over here, we will hire troops. Alright, what should we get? There's nothing else seems to survive. No, no. Let's... Let's have a look. Is there anything else I can build to... I'm gonna build a craft shop to reduce the cost of new troops, but I don't it just doesn't really seem to be much point in doing that. I'll go Sages Guild. Then I can get Sage in some second level um guilds. I can't I don't have a second level of nature's cloister yet though unfortunately, which is um, annoying. But I was always going to chat cast um, a miracle of nature here to help this place grow somewhat even though even though they're hateful and we will hire I mean we'll just hire barbarians ah ah why not why not I tell ya they're just better all right so what's going on here um I very much doubt I'm going to get another, um, I very much doubt I'm going to get another war, uh, another adventurer, another, yeah, like, um, it's, there seems little point, let's put it that way, I mean, I've basically finished this shard, um, so why am I keeping that stuff? Well, I don't know, that is a very good question. Now, Chana, learn spells. Let's learn some shots. We're going to be going up against um, let's get a magic armor. Do I want to heal? Probably not to be honest. Um, I mean, the shocks will do tons. We'll go up here. Alrighty. Or, will I wait and get second level spells, which will actually do, be much better. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Let's just explore. What, what do we have? We've got some battle mages. Um. I'm fairly confident we should be able to beat some battle majors given my um or was that what I just fought? I don't know. I don't know. Um Got some dark priestesses. I think they're unscrupulous. Let's just have a look at Let's just have a look. Um let's just sit. we'll we'll explore for now. That's all I feel confident doing. Um, and we'll end turn. Alright, I found an old windmill with oh, two horse archers and a horseman. Well, as I'm entirely um, not equipped for, to fight them, because I've just taken a whole bunch of um, 
other things that I will retreat. Alright, we've got another rebellion. They're going to pay for this. And we only just defeated them. They're still hateful. Come on, guys. Come on. What if I give you, give you a tavern? Now they're only furious. What if I give you... So, Walking Dead, population mood, minus one. <laughs> Secret Agents, population mood, my, well, only minus one as well. And slows the, un, the unrest rate, so we'll... We'll do that now, even though that's probably going to mean that I can't build a second level major skill, because I don't have the... Have... The, um... The money, but I can always enchant a coffer. And tell them some lies. Okay, so I can build a second level Necromancer's Guild. Which can like allow me to like raise ghoul and things like this and I mean sounds pretty good. It's also will take basically nearly all of my gems, so given that fact, I'm gonna be stupid and just try and take them on like this. And be and well or but they can fight the robbers, so... No, no, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's build... The Necromancer's Guild. And... Now let's learn some spells, alright. So we'll get these level 1 spells down here. Okay. So now some level 2 spells. Things like... Raise Ghoul. Um... Atrophy is pretty good. Um, vampirism will be good. Um, now the stone skin is that—that that is a level two. That's just so we don't really need the magic armor. We'll get another shock. Um, do I want that or do I want another raised ghoul? I mean, ghouls are second level units. Um, and I don't have the access to like any second level units. Um, what is this eternal slave? The target dies while under this spell it will rise again, last five turns. Duration increases with concentration, only works on the undead. So that sounds pretty cool. That can keep my mummy alive, maybe. Um, is that worth having? Is that a... Ooh, choices, choices. We'll take the Eternal Slave over the Atrophy. We'll just keep the right, the right, eight. We'll do that. And we'll head up here. Um, all safe in the knowledge that I should kill these brigands and get some gems for us. That's the plan. Um, let's end turn. Alright, Brigand Ganliga. Let's attack. Alright, well this looks pretty easy. Um, we want our... We want our level 2's out. Um, so I can go there. Yeah, we want the people that, that we want to heal up. Um, to be involved. Let's put it that way. And that was pretty easy, and I will choose gems. 158. I wonder if they fell out of the crystal. Get some stamina, and a yeah, bunch of crap. We'll sell some fresh corpses to the necromancers as well, because of this great epidemic that's broken out here. And what do I need a love of mortal for? I don't even see how many I've got. Spies in the province of Outer Lands report that the discontent people started purchasing weapons as well. I will sell them some old weapons. How much did I make? 105 gold. What can peasants with a few rusty swords do against the walking dead? Now, okay, this is a bit scary. I see that my 
capital is indignant and they want to rebel and I don't have a guard there. So I will definitely get some secret agents. It's going to make them furious, um, but at least they are now guarded. Now this place... Uh, uh, oh, so we'll build... We'll build a pub here. We'll see whether we can... Okay, th th these people are going to rebel next turn. What's my... What's my prerogative? I mean, they're, they're going to be evil. So, you know, I shouldn't have any trouble defeating them. So I'll, I'll go there with um, Chana. And I'm to gain experience from their rebellion. Now, we'll build a Diggers Guild. Oh, I've already built something this time. Um, let's, uh, Magic Crystal. And get another quest. Brigands, alright, I'll be back soon. I think there were some more brigands around somewhere. They were up here, weren't they? Alright, we'll go, we'll go to these brigands, I guess. Oh, I should just siege them straight away, but... No. We'll, we'll, we'll just do this. We'll just do this. End turn. They're going to pay for this, and Chana can lead. Okay, so I thought these people would be goblins, um, but they're not, which changes things slightly. Um, I'm still fairly confident that we'll win. them come towards me so that then they're on swamps. But I will stone crush this dude just to heal him up. And I'll get this guy on a hill. And maybe him on a hill. Now I'm gonna have to be a little bit scared of all of these running forwards and killing this dude. He's going to do 10 damage. He's got 11. <sighs> so we'll do that first. We need to push forward. And I will summon a ghoul. So this is all good. They're, they're aiming at my my ghoul that I don't care about at all. I've actually done quite a bit of damage to them, like I've, I've got to admit. Um. And that was that rebellion quash. Take concentration for some increased spell duration and stuff. Um, go defense, go stamina. All right, and we'll head on back up that way. So much work just to get this carpenter, carpenter thing, and we're still going to be going for the um, the brigands that are there. We will build. Witch's Circle gives access to a black tower which gives us more gems and stuff which will be and it won't take all of my gems so let's just build a Witch's Circle 
so it's evil. And yeah, it gives us like one schematic for a black tower, I think. Uh, we'll build a mine here as well. Alrighty. And we'll end turn. The devil has come again with another artifact for me. Well, it sounds good, but I'm definitely running out of um gems. So I'm gonna. Oh, oh, fine. What do I get? A hero's helmet. Did he really have to stink so much? All right. So we'll attack the brigands. I really don't have any gems, so what I'm going to start doing is places like this that have, um, I'm going to replace that with a tribe. Yes. So I can start getting my gem income up higher. And maybe here I can probably build that. Okay. I have to build a black tower here. I think I have to build a black tower there. It's interesting. Alright, I'll get a forester's guild as well. So they're going to attack there. Yeah, they're going to go there. Yep. Alright, let's. How long till. They're fucking furious. You furious people. Alright, let's attack. See a double shot. No, and you can still shoot, probably hit pretty hard. One, two, three, four, five. But this guy's not in range, so I'm not too worried. Oh, he is in range. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, it's six, so he does five damage. Say would have been better, who knows? Alright, so let's see what we're up against with these barbarians here. Um, it could be well in, in excess of what I can do, but I think I should be able to beat, win the battle. And that's all I need to do to be then hopefully be able to see this stuff. Um, what else have we got? a whole bunch of like easy stuff to kill. Um, I guess I may as well just attack them as well. Alright. We're getting to the getting to the end of the shard, fellas and ladies and everybody in tavern. They're still furious. Still furious. Oh, that's right, I was going to start replacing some of these guards that um like this one. Let's make him a tribe. Because it's really, yeah, uh, going to help my gem income. How have I built something? Let's go jewelry shop. Oh, it's going to take a lot of... Let's not go jewelry shop. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want anything that's going to take gems at this stage, I think. So we'll go to the tailor's store. And we will end turn. Alright, so I've got eight. Barbarian, Berserker, Shaman. Okay. It's definitely not going to be an easy fight. And I might run out of gems. But I'm stupid, so let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's have a look. kill them just like outright right. we'll go 
discuss. Defense. Now, now they're avoiding this guy, um, which is probably pretty smart. Now it's like I'm, hit, I'm like losing track of like who's who. smacking with a fucking 23. I mean, that's almost enough to kill me. Um, also, I've got to worry about a lot of things, really. How much ammo? I must be nearly out of ammo. I swear, I must be nearly out of ammo. Holy fudge. Now would be a good time to um, hmm. Eternal Slave. I think. Cause he because he's a means of pain anyway. So we will Fucking take it's gonna take all my mana if I if I eternal slave. I will instead shock him and hopefully kill him. Alright. I am very low on mana. And that is the big problem. Do have enough mana to cast both vampirism and magic weapon on myself. So I will vampirism myself. Uh, ah, but we don't need to. There we go. As I predicted, <laughs> we will be able to win, but it will be very tough. Um. All right. Looks like I need to attack this place as well, so this is the um this will probably be an e easier fight, um but it, again it's one that I probably shouldn't take too lightly. The problem is I don't I've got bugger or mana. So this person can double shot this so they're dangerous. They can't. So at this point in time I thinking webbing them is um, probably in my best interests. And all of these people have like first strike and stuff as well, which is like super annoying. What's this range? Four. One, two, three. I'm worried about getting shot by both of them. Oh. Let's leave the skin of the forest. I need to make some sort of defensive line where my healer can heal things. Because I've also got agility. <laughs> yeah, like, so without the webs, things kind of suck. <laughs> it becomes super dangerous. Now, he's probably got force 
um, march, which means he can move two. So I definitely want to move one back, and then shoot the creek. Oh. And I guess I'll move him up here. What kind of options do I have? Not very many by the looks of things. His counter attack is, as, is an 11, but his, the fact that... I mean, really, I need, I need to web this person. That's really what I'm thinking. Then with them webbed, I can get a charge bonus off like that. At least with everything else, I get counter attacks off. Ooh, okay, so strike off um, at least it will um, remove them I think I was, did that fairly well. Um, didn't really lose too much health. Um, gained a shitload of experience. Okay, so at this point of the game, oh, look, it really doesn't matter. Um, we've got offensive tactics. Go ranged attack, we'll go defense, we'll go battle frenzy, we'll go ooh, recovery, we'll go 
increase healing by that, and we'll begin a siege. And I knew it. Even though I've taken this province, I still can't see this place. And to be honest, I don't care enough to actually do that. So, you know, there, there's a number of guards that can increase the, the sight range. So if I built like a slinger's guild, like the, the guardsmen, or I think, I think they're called guardsmen, I like they can see further. I was, I was hoping that the spies would be able to. Um, uh, the shadow guild, I was hoping that they would be able to see further, you know, with their spy network, but um, they can't. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go to any efforts really to um, actually see that last place. I'll just I'll finish the shard as soon as I can. Um, so we'll just and we'll just continue the siege and we'll explore there. I wonder if we've got garden this place. Let's get a tribe. Um, let's build a granary. Yeah, we really don't have a very, um, much in the way of gems, do we? We found a mage's tower. Let's talk to them. They want swiftness. I'll get you the scroll. I actually think I have a scroll of swiftness. Outrageous. Good old barbarians. We'll dig up the treasure. We'll dig him up. Ooh. Copper bracelet. And we'll execute the malcontents. We've also got... Um, and my party um, demolished him. Alright, so we've got, we've got a lot of stuff going on. But do I have a scroll of swiftness? Headwind airship swiftness. I do. How about that, eh? So let's do a quest. <laughs> let's do one of these scroll quests finally. So we'll just keep sieging up um, until I can do um, the scroll quest. Pretty happy about that. That's um, a bit of luck. Oh, I can't. I have to assault. Oh, let's assault and we'll just go auto combat, no limits. Let's see how this AI plays out for our winning battle. Well, we've got our shaman killed. Be surprised if the grand healer dies as well. No, they can't be that bad. Why is he moving? What are they doing? Alright. Serves so the bastard right. And the Oinat shard is conquered. Oinat. So we've got Driver's Guild, we've got a Guardsman Barrett and a Journeyman Mailmaker. And we've also got a contract with the Guards, so it's not Guards, maybe it's Guardsmen. Guards, I can't can't see any um, descriptions. So it actually gave, us, gave me a plus one for turn for that, even though I thought that I piss farted around quite a bit trying to get the Cartographer reward. I did have that, that one reversion when I paid no attention to what the Orcs um, we're defending, so that's a bit annoying. Um, but other than that, I am Astral Master Clavicus the Dreadful. Ah, new lands in which to wage war. Excellent. Soon I'll conquer your world. So we've, we've this is another Astral Master. You want war, you get war. Hey, I like you. I'll be glad to fight you. I'll see you in battle. So this guy 
Dogor. He's, he likes me already. Dialogue. I have a question for you, Dogor. Ask, what can you tell me about Onor? Wimp. And Belleth, weakling. And Dogor, I hate chatting. To get to know me, fight me. Got it. What do you know about the Cataclysm? The cuss of what? Alright, never mind. Yes, I think I've heard enough. Um, so he's like a barbarian that um, somehow transcended um, to power, I think like with this bracelet thing that he wears. Um, you can learn that through talking with other people. Belleth doesn't like me though. He dislikes. Oinor's disgusted at me. And doesn't intend to share any opinion, but I think... There you go. Um, we can talk with um, good old Zar. So I'll just click through this because I've, I've I've read all of this. There we go. A former mortal who managed to grab power of masters with his greedy hands and physical plane. He was a barbarian. I'll say that that hasn't changed much. I think that amulet he found is key to his power. Very curious item. What's so curious about it? You see, boss, as a gremlin, I'm an expert in various magical items. You can say they're my profession if you like. Well, I've got no idea what that piece of junk he's got hanging on his neck. But the fact that he dragged it into the astral from the physical plane speaks volumes. I've only heard about a handful of extremely rare artifacts that are able to exist in both the physical and astral plane, so it's a really curious item indeed, boss. I see. Thanks, Zadar. Yes, I have more questions. No. Alright, so that's where we're going to finish off um, this episode. We destroyed Onor. Oinor. We were just about to do our first scroll quest and failed because we had to do a siege. And, well, that's just the way it goes, really. So, next episode will be shard number 10. Ooh, we've got still a small shard left. Are they just adding small shards? Shard number 10, where I guess we will be invading Chordcan. I think. So, join me then. Just, till then, this is Clavis signing off. Thank you very much, and all the best. Catch you later.